Lady Gaga took the stage outside the historic Stonewall Inn. The universe, the universe brought us together in the spirit of kindness. And we, together, we're a powerhouse. The view from Chopper 2 shows Christopher Street packed with people. Thrilled to greet this extra special guest, the superstar, recording artist, and movie star is a longtime supporter of LGBTQ issues. I will continue to fight every day during shows, even when I'm not on stage, to spread a message that's actually quite simple. Be kind. I love Gaga, so it's so awesome that she's here today. Did you know she would be coming? No, 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 it was awesome. Surprise, yeah. One of the owners of Stonewall sent me a ticket last night, and here I am, and there she is. It's pretty amazing, and what an amazing day. This is the beginning of a week-long celebration of pride on Stonewall's 50th anniversary. On June 28, 1969, the LGBTQ community finally took a stand, fighting back against what was then NYPD's moral squad comprised of officers who routinely raided establishments frequented by gays, including the Stonewall Inn. On that night, the fed up patrons resisted arrest and threw rocks and bottles, launching the battle for gay rights. Bartender Tree Sequoia remembers that night. We heard the screaming coming in on, from that side. We knew it was another raid when we hear that, but we did not know that was the raid of all raids because we were so used to raids. Before the riots, homosexuality was mostly forced underground. The Stonewall's owners say it still provides a forum for activism. It's critical that Stonewall continues to be that globalized symbol and continues to lead the fight and stays at the forefront of the gay rights movement. And to be remembered as the place where pride began.